The first topic which we learn in new paper syntax is inline declaration. Inline declaration is a new way of declaring internal table, work area, variable, field symbol, etc. We can do the inline declaration at the same position where we are using them. Here in old web syntax, what we do? First, we define the internal table structures variables with data. Then we write the select query like this. Suppose if you want to select all the fields, then select query will be like select all from EKKO into table gt underscore EKKO. And this gt underscore EKKO first we declare with data keywords. But with the new web syntax, without declaring any internal table, we can declare them at the runtime at the same position. Like here, select all from EKKO into table. Here we have to add a direct sign, a direct data into bracket the internal table name. Like this, we can declare them at the same position. This is for select all. And in case if you want to select some limited number of columns, in that case, after adding the column name, we have to add comma. And here also in the where clause, we have to add a direct sign for the host variables. This comma we have to add for all the columns, excluding the last column. This all will learn in one program where first we write the code with old syntax and then we will replace the code with the new syntax. So let's log into SAP system and write our first program for inline declaration. Now I will create a first program as zdemo underscore new underscore web syntax create new web syntax SQL program sem and say as local object here I will write tables I'm giving one demo of accounting table pkpf now let me create some type like begin of tp underscore bkpf end of tp underscore bkpf in between I will write some field like bukrs type bkpf bukrs my second file will be belnar type bkpf belnar belnar is a counting document and last field I want to select as gtahr that is type fiscal year bkpf gjahr now after declaring type, I will do my data declaration. I will define data with data keywords. It's a gt underscore bkpf type standard table of tp underscore bkpf. Second, I'm defining work area bkpf type tp underscore bkpf. I will define one more internal table gt underscore bkpf1 this will be like the standard table of bkpf one more work area bkpf1 type bkpf so one to select all records and one to select three four columns three columns okay so now i am defining one more table gt underscore bsec type standard table of BSEC and GS underscore BSEC type BSEC. Okay, so I've done the regulation. I'll create selection as screen. Selection screen begin of block V1 with frame title text T001. End of <coughs>
selection screen end of block p1 now in between i will write my select options or parameter based on our requirement s underscore view carries for bkpf view carries my second field will be belnar s underscore belnar for bkpf belnar third field will be fiscal year gjahr for bkpf gjahr so check activate go to text element selection text select checkbox dictionary reference this will assign a text from dictionary activate go back now here the start of selection end of selection in between i'm writing my code in real time to proper modularization now first what i will do i will select only three fields so how we do in all of syntax select view carries belnar gjhr from bkpf into table gt underscore bkpf where view carries in s underscore view carries second is belnar in s underscore belnar and third is fiscal year that is gjhr in s underscore gj hr cell check no error this is to select limited columns okay now select all how will you select all select all fields in that we write the code like this select all from pkpf into at the corresponding or into table into table gt underscore bkpf my where query will be where clause will be same okay so this is how we write the code bkpf1 bkpf1 first i will define bkpf with the limited number of columns and bkpf1 with the all the columns okay now i want to select line item data from this set line item data so i will take reference of bkpf1 so what i will do if gt underscore bkpf1 body is not initial first you have to check whether the table is initial or not to select all the records okay sort gt underscore bkpf1 by view carries belnar gj hr this is all syntax after this we will learn the new in the same program now how to select all in this select all from bsec into table gt underscore bsec for all the entries in gt underscore bkp of one where bu carries equals to gt underscore bkp of one bu carries and belnar equals to gt underscore bkp of one belnar and fiscal year equals to gj ahr equals to gt underscore bkp of one gj ahr same check and activate so this is how we select limited number of columns and this to select all that is for all entries okay now what we will do we will just display write the data in the output so how we will do we can use cl demo underscore output class cl demo output and here like i okay, will choose right here gt underscore let's say bk pf first then i will add bkp of one and then finally bsec so check activate 
I have limited number of columns in my test system. If I select cruiser 22, here we can see. Okay, let me display output. One second. The last one you have to change as a display. So what we are doing here, first system will display record of the KPF, then the KPF1 and the VSA. Activate test again. I have only five six record in test system. So here you can see this GT underscore BKPF output. This GT underscore BKPF1 with all the records of BKPF. And last one is the VSA. So this is how we do the coding using the old ABAP syntax. So what we'll do next? In the same program, to meet the same concept, we'll see how to do this coding with the new ABAP syntax.